What's up everyone, it's Joey, Blush Response, and today we're checking out the Oxy Meta. Let's get right into it. All right, so we got the Oxy Meta here. I'm a big fan of Oxy products. Um, I have the one and I have the coral and I've reviewed both and the one is my, currently my favorite sequencer. Uh, and so they sent me this Meta to review. What is the Meta? It's like a, a live effect with a few different effects um, that you can use. I've got the Vic going through it at the moment playing this sound and basically it's very simple you turn the knob to the right you get one kind of effect you turn the knob to the left you get another and then you have this meta knob for some effects parameters that are different depending on what effect you have on here's the filter left is low pass right is high pass meta is resonance simple simple stuff it does the job it does it right some reverb from the vix internal synthesis Got some, the space effect. We'll turn off that reverb. Nice. Left side is shimmer, right side is more standard reverb. Um, and then you can hold the button and turn meta for dampening on the feet on the reverb. And a lot of effects, uh, a few of the effects in there have that function. And then you can also, of course, clock it and CV both the blue knob and the meta knob, so. Very easy, very simple. Let's put some drums in there. And we're good to go. Got a riser. And you get it. <laughs> this is easy to understand, simple but effective. I like things like this. Um, I know that I can use this in my live where I... And I've got the whole mix going through it, if you couldn't tell. Just tweaking the Vic. Looper. Cool, so the looper blends. You can do an input gain adjustment on it. It also has tap tempo, so I can remove that clock, for example. Not bad. This is my first real time using it. So I have not mastered it, but it's so simple that you don't need to really master this. You just learn by doing delay. <laughs> so industrial. <laughs> I'm definitely clipping it internally, but you know, when am I not clipping things internally? Let's be honest here. <laughs> ah, and the, the sound quality is great. Like, Oxy is great quality. This does not surprise me at all. Oh, I like that. I also have the kick coming out dry on its own so I don't necessarily lose all the bass when I'm doing the effects. See, and I can just get used to that. In a live set, you can do things like that in combination with other more complex things here and there and just get really nuts. Some tweaking on the Vic. the drum sequence drums are from the assimilator 
Let's go. Ooh, darkness. I like that. Man, it's obviously a delay time here. Oh, nice combing. Now we'll try the gator. Not bad. Little cut off. Lower the octave on the Vic. And I'm sequencing from the Oxy-1, so the Oxy-1 has become my main performance sequencer. I just did some gigs in the US and it was amazing for them. Just drop the octave like that and we're in a different space. And I like that you can just do that with the Oxy-1. Pump in. You can do really fast taps and get like audio race stuff. Tap tempo is handy for that kind of shit. Space. And with space, for example, you can hold the button and filter your reverb. Get more going in there. Some glitches out drums. Wild. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. And the Vic is just such a strange voice. That riser. Go faster. Nuts. In a dark cavern, you don't know where you are, but you just want to rave. Fuck. 
fucking love. The Oxy One Sequencer is so simple to use. So easy. It was like made for me. I love the Vic. Give it to me. <laughs>
Oxy Meta. So that was dope. I think the Meta is fun. Does what it says on the tin. It's simple. It's good for live performance in all kinds of sets. I could see fitting in anywhere. Techno, IDM, industrial, whatever. If you know how to use it and combine it with other complex things, it could be like an extra spice on the top, a way to cut things up, to just get things getting fucked up. And I like that. I would love to see multiple effects on at the same time. That'd be really cool. And in general, I mean, you saw it. It's easy to explain, easy to understand. And samples of it are going to be up on my Patreon for you to use in your own productions. There's like 120 packs there so check it out um, if you want to support me I have a new album out called sprawl on artifact records CD and digital along with a new shirt design mark heel of cubinate guests on vocals on two tracks uh, and the album has been pretty well received so far so check it out on the artifact Bandcamp, as well as my little mega structure has a huge 17 track IDM compilations with all kinds of heavy hitters like Grisha Lichtenberger Tom Hall layer XLV sleep clinic and many more the full list of ours is gonna be right here check that out on my label Band camp. Um, and if you want to support me in other ways, check out the affiliate links below. There's many of them you could use, and any of them will help me out. Uh, keep watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my Patreon, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.